hey, welcome back. Okay, for this part of the tutorial, I've installed a few of our template packs for you. For example, this uh, template set that I'm showing you are the eCover and Mockup Templates package. The eCovers, I'll show you really quick, comes with over 75 done-for-you templates. And they're all super easy to modify. For example, if I pick any template like this one, this has to do with software, but if I don't have any, this is a placeholder image, I can just delete it. Let's say I have, um, I'm working on a tennis book. So I'm gonna come over here to the graph, to the Pexels image search, like we've been doing, and I'm gonna type in tennis, and find a really quick image, like this is perfect, bring it over. Okay, resize it, super easy, and then change all the text to reflect my tennis course for example. And it's that easy to modify and change all the text. And to use it, all I have to do is come up here to File, download the image to my desktop. We'll call this Tennis 1, and we're going to download it. And it pops up into in, in my uh, Downloads folder. Now let's go back to those e-covers for a second. I'm going to come down here and choose Select Designs to come back. I don't want to save that for now. And now I'm gonna come up here to the menu options, okay? And I've installed these template sets for you to show you. But now I'm gonna show you the eCover 3D mockups. These two packages come together. And what this is, this comes with a whole bunch of 3D books and 3D box shots that you can map the image onto. For example, if I select this one here, okay? There's a message that tells me this is a placeholder. If I click it, which selects it, and I can tell it's selected by the yellow border around it, okay? Now I can come to my download, uh, my tennis book here, and I can click and drag this right on top of the placeholder. And it replaces the placeholder, and here is my new tennis book image that I can use on my website, or an opt-in page, or for fun, whatever. Cool, huh? And that is the eCover template set. Okay, another set that I wanna show you, we have logos and business cards. So if I click on a logo template set, you're gonna find a whole bunch of done for you logos that you can modify just as we've been modifying everything else. When you download the logo templates, you'll also get business cards. So to change everything, you just have to click on an image. Okay, we made one for our Creatorpreneurs Club here. So there's the card. Now things are modifiable like this uh, radar looking thing. We can delete this. You can apply your own logo here. And if you don't like the background, of course, delete it and either drag your own image onto it or we can do something like um, choose something like abstract. And that's gonna give us a whole bunch of uh, abstract like images. So I can drag it over, modify it, and send it to the back. Or I don't like that one, let's do this one, a bunch of roses, and I just make it super big and send that to the back. There is my business card. Now let me show you a trick. The software comes built in with this option as well. If I click on Format Canvas, Remember those, these three buttons. We've already gone over the, the ruler and the grid. Now let's work on business card design. If I click that, you're gonna notice that I get this gray square, just like this. Now what this gray square is for, for the business cards, is so that you fit all of your images and graphics inside the border of this gray square. Because when you download it, Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna download the image. Okay, and once it's done, you have your business card saved as a graphic. Now we're gonna come over to a website called Vista Print. I've been using Vista Print for years. Now you can use any online service that uh, creates business cards for you. So I like uh, Vista Print because it has a lot of options and it's really inexpensive. So. Business cards, I click on the word business cards. I want standard cards. Okay, then it gives me some options. Standard thickness or premium, so let's do standard. Let's do matte. Let's do standard corners. Gives you a preview. Okay, once it's all done, I can get 500 of these printed for about 20 bucks. Or I can come down and only test out 100 of them for 15 bucks. Super cool. But when I start designing, when I click on this button, I can upload 
the, the graphic that I just created. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to upload my business card um, horizontal. You can make a vertical or a square size, but for now I'm going to click this one, hit next. And all I have to do is click inside this image to upload my image from my computer. Cool, here's my business card. If I click it, it uploads perfectly and this says the image resolution looks great. So it's gonna print just fine. And you'll notice this is a bleed so that when Vistaprint cuts all the cards, this is a safety zone so that you don't get your text cut off. So you'll notice that this is the safety zone here and if I go to Format Canvas, I can turn it off or turn it on, right? So back on Vistaprint, I can continue on with my purchase. I don't need a backside. And then in the end, you'll see a preview of your card and it ships to your house in a couple of days. And they also give you add-ons that you can use like postcards, they give you a pen, or they give you the option to create a mouse pad with the same card or the same design. You can take away all the other text. I love this. And to get all of these cool template sets, all you have to do is launch the software and you're gonna notice, get more templates up here. So if you click it, it'll come to our website and you can kind of browse all of the template sets we have. For example, we've just launched our new character creator. And when you roll your mouse over the, the icons, you can click on the word demo and it'll pop up a quick little video you can watch. Hey, Creatorpreneurs. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the Character Creator 2.0 for the Graphics Creator. This new and totally updated version contains over 1,100 elements that you can use to create a terrific character. There's thousands of possibilities, just like these. You can use your new character to create t-shirts. Cool, right? Okay, so we have everything like the Character Creator. We have a Halloween character pack. We have Pinterest graphics. We have the logo and business card creator that I've shown you. We have YouTube designs and the greatest show template set, which is one of our newer template sets. E-covers and mock-ups and templates of people graphics, comic elements you can use and an ad creator. And they're all super fun and super easy to use. <laughs> cool, right? And everything, as always, is movable and modifiable inside the Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software. Well, okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this mini-series on getting started with the software. Make sure to check out the other more in-depth tutorials that we have on our YouTube channel and on our website. So go ahead, launch the software, and start creating. You're gonna love it. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.